wants to take the path of least resistance. While Stacy loads the tower shell in Site B, the rest of the team loads the tower legs in Site A. The tower shell stands on these legs. When the tower was operational, the leg openings pulled air inside the tower and upwards. Now these legs will serve a new purpose. As it comes down, as these legs compress, they'll, they'll act as shock absorbers, as the rest of the shell. So as it comes down, it comes down slow, enough, slow enough that you don't get a, a, an extreme impact. As with the shell above, Tom loads 60% of the legs on the same side as they want the towers to fall. With Tom finishing loading the legs at Site A, over at Site B, Mark is now wiring the dynamite together. He's doing it with this detonation cord. It's an explosives-filled rope. It's basically an instantaneous connector between charges, and it lends itself nicely to the non-L system. But uh, you worry about those wire connections moving in the wind. They can break. This is tough stuff, really tough stuff. Mark will initiate the detonation, sending a pulse down this line about 7,600 meters per second. 